Dutch Martin, a sense of urgency. A sense of urgency, Dutch Martin. Phalanges, metatarsals, talus, tibia, fibula, patella, femur. Those words represent the first time in my life I experienced a sense of urgency, one that not only sparked a lifelong love of learning, but also taught me a thing or two about what you lose by fitting in versus what you gain by standing out. Madam Contest Master, fellow bone aficionados, let me tell you about the time I memorized all 206 bones of the human body in three days. September 1985, I had just started middle school as an 11-year-old sixth grader in my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, when one day my mother told me that we were moving to Birmingham, Alabama so that my mom could take care of my grandmother. Later on that month, mom and I packed up and relocated to the Deep South, where I had to enroll in a new school, make new friends, and for the first time in my life, put some twang in my slang. <laughs> my next challenge as the new kid in school was getting caught up on all of my schoolwork. Case in point, sixth grade science class, where Mr. Ezel, the bearded, Stoic science teacher Monday through Friday and, as I soon discovered, ordained Baptist preacher on Sunday morning, was teaching the class the various systems of the body, the nervous system, the muscular system, etc. By the time I arrived, the class was on the skeletal system, the lovely bones. Apparently, after almost three weeks, none of the students had studied, nor could anyone recite all of the bones of the body, and Mr. Ezel was not happy. <laughs> At that moment, I felt my first sense of urgency to learn the skeletal system as quickly as possible and would use the upcoming three-day weekend to do so. Now, before the age of the internet, there was the age of the encyclopedia. <laughs> my grandmother had a beautiful leather-bound set in her living room china cabinet. On a Thursday evening, I took them all out and spread them across her dining room table. Then I spent all day Friday, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday delving into the bones. I drew pictures, drafted diagrams, and took copious notes. Monday morning arrives. Mr. Ezel asks for a volunteer. I timidly raise my hand. He looks at me strokes his beard, then motions me to the front of the class next to the six-foot-long poster of the skeletal system. He hands me the pointing rod. I take a deep breath and begin. Phalanges, metatarsals, talus, tibia, fibula, patella, femur, the lumbopelvic hip complex consisting of the sacroiliac, sacrum, coccyx, and ilium. Phalanges of the hand, metacarpals, carpals, radius ulna, <laughs> humerus, <laughs> scapula, clavicle, sternum, rib cage. The bones of the skull consist of the mandible or jawbone, the maxilla, the three smallest bones in the body located inside the ear are the malleus, incus, and stapes. Moving on up, we have the frontal eminence, parietal eminence, the temporal bones, and the occipital protuberance. Finally, we have the bones of the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar vertebrae. <sighs> A look of utter rage comes over Mr. Ezel's face. I'm thinking, oh my God, did I miss a bone? <laughs> then, just as Dr. Bruce Banner becomes the Incredible Hulk, Mr. Ezel becomes the Incredible Reverend Ezel. With a big southern dose of hellfire and brimstone, Reverend Ezel proceeds to put the rest of the class, to use a modern day phrase, on blast. <laughs> Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> I've given y'all 
three weeks uh, to learn the bones of the body. And this young man, uh, this young man, uh, I said, this young man uh, does it in three days. Uh, Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Granted, I did not make any friends that day. <laughs> but here's what I learned. We are smarter than we think. But oftentimes, as young people, we sacrifice our intellectual potential for social acceptance, which is exactly what I did for years afterwards by cutting school and goofing off in class instead of applying myself academically. Why? Because I was in the grips of a second, common, yet more pernicious sense of urgency. I wanted to fit in. Then one day, seeing the path I was on, it was my high school French teacher who put me on blast. Monsieur Martin, he said. In all of my years of teaching, I have seen so much talent and potential wasted because promising young people like you chose to fit in instead of stand out. Is that what you want, monsieur? At that moment, I experienced my most powerful sense of urgency to date, to stand out from the crowd and become the lifelong learner I was meant to be. From that point on, that's exactly what I did. And because of it, I also became the first African-American male student in the history of my high school to graduate at the top of his class. Remember that 11-year-old kid from Cleveland? Well, ask yourselves this question. If that young man, if that young man I said if that young man could memorize and recite all 206 bones of the human body in just three days, what's your sense of urgency? Thank you. One minute of silence, please. 